channel. Today we are going to discuss crystal oscillators. Now in last video we had discussed LC oscillator, Hartley oscillator and Colpitt's oscillator. The frequency of oscillation for those oscillators are given by this formula. In this C is a capacitance and L is the inductance. Now at very high frequency this capacitor becomes comparable to a junction capacitance of the device. So which devices we are talking about? The BJTs, those MOSFETs etc. used in design of amplifier circuit. Now this inductor also changes with temperature and aging. So at high frequency, these oscillation that is oscillation provided by LC oscillators are not stable. Second drawback of LC oscillator is a Q factor, low Q factor. Q factor is low for those circuits and since Q factor is low which determines the frequency stability so you can say it has a low stability also. Whereas crystal has very high Q factor which gives you very high stable oscillations at very high frequencies. Now let's discuss working principle. Crystal oscillator consists of quartz crystal which vibrates, vibrates and entire operation is controlled by physioelectric effect. This is my crystal which will vibrate when it is exposed to a proper alternating potential. The vibration of crystal can be equated to an electrical circuit. So first part will discuss is mass of the crystal which is equivalent to inductance. Elasticity of a crystal is equivalent to a capacitance. Mechanical frictional forces are equated by register and the capacitance, various capacitances generated due to mounting electrode, wiring etc. represent CP. So just remember a vibrating crystal is equivalent to this electrical circuit which can have two frequencies of resonant that is a series resonant frequency and parallel resonant frequency. First we will discuss series resonant frequency. At series resonant frequency uh, this inductive reactance is equal to capacitive reactance because overall reactance will be zero. So solve for this you will get omega as this formula. Right? and linear frequency can be found as this which is equal to your series resonant frequency. At parallel resonant frequency this arm the series arm over here becomes inductive. So let's apply the series resonant condition the reactance in this arm is equal to this. So over here you have two terms inductive and capacitive and capacitive solve solve this to to get omega p and then convert it into linear frequency like this always remember omega is 2 pi into f okay now here since two capacitors are there you have replaced the resultant capacitor as c equivalent this Cp is far greater than Cs. So you can equate C equivalent as Cs. When you do that, your series resonant frequency is almost equal to parallel resonant frequency. So here you can replace inductor in normal circuit by a crystal. This is culprit oscillator circuits using BJT as well as OPAM. Focus on this inductor and simply replace this inductor by 
crystal in both the cases. So here instead of culprit oscillator you will get crystal oscillator. Let's see the circuit. This is first circuit is using BJT. See the feedback network here and crystal. Instead of inductor you have a crystal. Same is the case with this also op amp based circuit. Now this forms your feedback network. Crystal with mounting capacitor forms your feedback network and this feedback network will provide a phase shift of 180 degree and remaining 180 degree of phase shift will be provided by inverting amplifiers. It is CE amplifier it provides 180 degree or inverting amplifier will provide 180 degree so 180 plus 180 will give you 360. So total phase shift is 360. One of the Barkhausen's criteria is fulfilled. Second Barkhausen's criteria which says A into beta is greater than or equal to 1 can be fulfilled by selecting RC and RF as, as, as potentiometer. So this is potentiometers. So this condition can be fulfilled. So both the criteria of Barkhausen's are fulfilled. This circuits will behave as an oscillator. Advantages high stability at very high frequency. The drawback is frequency of oscillation you have derived where it was like this 1 upon 2 pi root of ls into cs. Now when we need a high frequency the size the size thickness of uh, thickness of crystal is very low so which makes crystal very fragile so very high frequency has a problem and if you need a low frequency you will need a large block of um, crystal which are not available now we all use digital circuit where we need clock signals so clock signals are generated using crystal oscillators and even in microprocessor, micro con, uh, con controllers or even processors clock signals are generated by using crystal oscillator. Crystal oscillators are also used in communication circuit to generate carrier signals.